Hey, what's up, guys? So um, uh, I was a little bit curious after that last game when Elmer Vallo was uh, caught trying to uh, steal second in the top of the ninth inning with uh, one out. Um, Vallo had uh, 15 stolen bases in real life in 1949 against um, 11 times caught stealing, and I thought, boy, I really wonder if um, Elmo or if Elmer had any experiences quite like that when he was uh, in real life. Uh, so I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at this. I'll show you here kind of what I do. We don't actually have to use StatHub for this. You can do this for free on Baseball Reference. We go search for Elmer Vallo. Here he is. And we can look at his um, uh, game logs, his batting game logs from 1949. And uh, we'll go ahead and do this together. You can just sort this by caught stealing and take a look at these one at a time. There's only so many games. He was caught stealing twice in this one, a one nothing game that uh, they uh, won in uh, extra innings. And uh, Valo, when we go look at uh, exactly what he did, um, he was hitting further down the lineup, wasn't he? He tried to steal third base um, uh, early on in the game. So that didn't quite work out so well for him. Um, there's a lot of this batted ball unknown out on play, and that's because they don't have a complete uh, box score or, or a complete, I'm sorry, play-by-play uh, -play account. This is probably sort of taken out of a, a newspaper account is what I'm guessing. Um, just trying to check here again to see if we have any more information about uh, whether he um, was caught again stealing like late in the ball game, and it looks like uh, we don't quite have it. So um, it might be one of those uh, things where we kind of take a look here and uh, just sort of, uh, you know, furrow our brows at uh, the fact that uh, we don't have uh, complete data. Take a look at a couple more of these games and just uh, check and see if we can find any sort of pattern or not. I'm just kind of interested in knowing what happened, you know. Interesting to see that a lot of these caught stealings were in uh, July and August. You know, I'm not sure that they really tried to steal with him too much outside of that part of the season. It looks like uh, after July, he kind of gave up his uh, base running exploits. September and October, not so much in terms of uh, running around. So, uh, yeah, see, there's no play-by-play -play in this game. And uh, let's see if we have anything good here. Valo was uh, picked off of first base and was safe on an air by the pitcher at the beginning of that one, which is a pretty interesting uh, result. This is this game against uh, the Yankees. Sorry about that. May 29th that uh, the Athletics again won. Um, and uh, looking through this really, really quickly to see here it is. Uh, top of the third, he was caught stealing in a uh, uh, nothing nothing ball game. So, um, again, his uh, time caught stealing here was not in the clutch at the end of the game, but rather at the beginning. This one, they lost to Chicago 3 nothing, And uh, the other question, or the question once again is, uh, can we find when Valo was caught stealing? So he had a double there. Good hitter was uh, Elmer Valo, ground ball, so that wasn't it. Um, and walked here and then was caught stealing. This is after two fly balls and a uh, pinch hitter for the pitcher, Joe Coleman. So you take Joe Coleman out, and then he winds up, uh, Valo, that is, getting caught stealing, and that ends it. Uh, that was in the bottom of the seventh inning, though, so not necessarily a ninth inning experience. Athletics lost this one 8-6 uh, to six to Washington. Let's see if we have anything. We do have stuff. We have a lot more um, of these games than uh, you might think, so uh, there you have it. Um, and uh, Valo, uh, he made an out up there. Here's his single, and uh, now he didn't try to steal there. You'll notice, and this is the thing that will make um, you know Tom Tango and the others very happy to see, when he doesn't try to steal, they're perfectly fine at getting all sorts of offense uh, generated. It's uh, stealing that is such a gamble. There's Fowler getting caught stole, stealing, and here he is. So he, with two outs in the top of the eighth inning of a tie game, he does get caught stealing. So with Nellie Fox up. So you could say that the computer manager um, in the game we just saw this morning was doing the accurate thing, right? Um, Detroit uh, beat uh, the Athletics 11-0 in this game. I'm actually curious to see when Valo had his attempt um, because was the score ridiculous when he tried to do it? Uh, it may have been. Let's uh, take a look here and see. Um... He actually stole second on defensive inter, uh, indifference, um, uh, down 11 nothing, and they still didn't score. Um, so uh, it's always fun to find things like that where they mention that um, in the box score. I'm not seeing that he had an actual uh, caught stealing in this game. I uh, hear it is right here. Yeah, it was in the very beginning of the game. Double play, and it was a strike him out, throw him out with Ferris Fane. They were trying probably for the hit and run, and it just didn't work. Uh, and this one that they lose to the Yankees 7-3 to in August, uh, we'll take a look again and just see if Valo, yep, he was caught stealing very beginning of the game, trying to get something going with two men out, didn't happen. 
This one, they uh, beat the Yankees 8-7. to seven. And uh, we'll see if we can find this here. And it was again at the beginning of the game. He singled and had moved to second base and then tried to steal third with Sam Chapman up there, which was a foolish thing to do. They had a double steal. Fain was safe behind him, but uh, not exactly a great high percentage play. Always wonder about that. This game, we don't have a uh, a play-by-play account, nor do we for this one. So that's just a real brief look. I know it's not scientific, right? I know that it's all, you know, sort of uh, whatever. You know, we just uh, make, uh, get whatever... um, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, uh, we uh, we just get you know whatever um, individual you know samples we can of uh, you know uh, things that happen in real life and kind of look at it. It's not scientific, right? It's not a complete look at every single chance that he had, but it gives us sort of an idea of what uh, happened there. One of the things you'll notice, and I think that if you were really to conduct a scientific um, survey, if you had full play-by-play data, I think you would learn that most of that base stealing was happening at the beginning of ball games, and that it was kind of a rare thing for it to happen later on in the game, um, which is um, something else to keep in mind when you're doing your own strategy and your replays. As for me, I'll just I'll steal bases if it makes sense. In 1949, it doesn't make a lot of sense because a lot of guys will walk, and so why are you going to take the risk just to have the guy up there take four straight pitches and go to first? There you go. Um, so there's a little bit of anecdotal information about El Mervalo. Interesting stuff, I think, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Talk to you then. Bye.